Thank you, Chair Khan. Thank you, Chair Chang Diaz. Uh, I am submitting formal written testimony uh, on behalf of um, banning conversion therapy. I'm also submitting it today on behalf of lifting the cap. And I'll just read an excerpt of uh, the testimony that I'm submitting in writing. Honorable colleagues of the Joint Committee on Children and Families and Persons with Disabilities, I'm here today to offer my strong support for H-140 filed by Chair Kay Khan, and to ask that you help make Massachusetts the 16th state in the nation to rid ourselves of the arcane and abusive practice of conversion therapy. I am proud to have co-sponsored this legislation. This is the first testimony that I'm offering as a member of the Massachusetts Senate, and it's fitting as this legislation strikes home for me personally, as it has for many constituents in the Hampshire Franklin Worcester District, and I will tell you that I have received an outpouring of calls and emails from constituents and have visited with many who have asked me to testify before you today. Let me take you back, if you will, to my kitchen table in a home where I grew up. My parents couldn't have guessed that the news I wanted to share with them now many years ago would have been about my sexuality, about the woman I, choose, I chose to love, but it was. Fast forward now in time, I'm married to my wife, Anne, and I have two beautiful children. My parents like to say that they simply went from having two daughters to having three daughters. Of course, we all know it wasn't that simple because homophobia, like that which drives conversion therapy, exacts a heavy toll, a heavy price from everyone. But now my children, my two children are of a new generation, one that refuses to be put into a gender box and told who to love. They are surely worlds more evolved than I was at their age, as it should be. Their utter rejection of bigoted discrimination based on gender, sexuality, and sexual orientation gives me hope, as do the families of their friends who are now my constituents, who are embracing and defending their kids' emergent and diverse worldviews with the kind of love and courageous and tenacious care that it deserves and needs. It's now up to the legislature, to this committee, to ensure that all Commonwealth children of this generation are never wrenched backwards into an ill-gotten and brutal so-called therapy that far too many in our nation have endured, far too many young people in our nation have endured, or worse, have perished because of. Thank you, thank you, uh, Madam Chairs, for prioritizing consideration of this necessary and just legislation that would, see, that would send a much needed message at a dangerous time in our nation when hate crimes are on the rise and the Trump administration threatens the civil rights of trans individuals, that LGBTQ discrimination in Massachusetts has no place, that we will not give it a home. I respectfully urge the committee to give this bill a favorable report, and on behalf of my constituents, I thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak in support of banning conversion therapy in the Commonwealth once and for all. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.